The following satellite transmission, copyrighted by the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, is available for live broadcast in 10 seconds, or for taping and rebroadcast by any AM, FM, shortwave, cable, or video outlet globally. This is a WBN Worldwide Broadcasting Network production. This is Vern Benham Grimsley with the Spiritual Renaissance broadcast. Thank God this very moment for life and for all it holds. Think of yourself for a few seconds. But think of yourself, consider yourself in a larger context or perspective than usual. Suppose, for instance, that you live on the continent of North America. Yet North America is only one of five continents on this earth. And all of those five continents together occupy only about one-fourth, one-quarter of the Earth's surface. The remainder is ocean. The diameter of this planet Earth is approximately 7,920 miles, but the diameter of our blazing sun in the sky is over 100 times greater than the diameter of the Earth. And the sun is some 93 million miles away from our planet. Furthermore, our Earth is but one among many other planets circling this sun in space. Furthermore, our solar system is off in one far, far corner of this universe, nowhere near the center of it. Then think of yourself again, and you may feel very, very much smaller than you did before. But then think about this, that the God of all this vast creation, of all this universe, is your loving Father and your friend. To be worshipped and to be praised. Thank God for your place in this vast scheme of things. So even if you feel you don't have a friend on earth, remember well that you most certainly have a friend in heaven, for the eternal God is both your father and your friend. And a living fragment of God's living spirit lives within your mind. The kingdom of God, declared the Master, is within you. Thank God for that. God is both your father and your friend. What is a friend? A friend is someone you can turn to, but more than that, a friend is someone you can turn to who will not turn away. And this is the very sort of friend God is to you. God is reliable. You can count on God, on God's friendship, God's love, God's desire of the greatest possible good for you and your life and your experience. A good earthly friend is someone who can know everything there is wrong with you and still like you. But God, again, is even more than that. God knows everything that's wrong with you, and God still loves you. Not merely likes you, but loves you infinitely with an almost blinding compassion for you and understanding, care, compassion, and concern for your life in all its aspects. And by that very love of God, those things which are wrong with you can and will begin to change. Because no person can stay the same who begins to experience this lavish love of the living God. God loves you this moment. Dare to believe that. Dare to accept it in faith. Begin to experience it this very moment and thank God for his love. You may say, well... How can I be so thankful for all these things that I don't intellectually fully understand? Science does not really know what gravity, electricity, or magnetism are, nor how a crawling caterpillar can spin a cocoon and become, through transformation, a fluttering butterfly, nor how hydrogen and oxygen, both of which will freely burn, can yet combine to create water which not only does not burn, but which paradoxically, seemingly contradictorily, will extinguish fire. These things are all true, even though the human intellect, your mind and my mind, cannot fully understand them. And so it is with the living love of God. God's love is real. You cannot prove it, but you can 
seemingly miraculously, you can begin to experience it by living faith. And you are capable of faith. God has knit and woven that capability of faith within you. Thank God for that and for the spiritual realities which you can not just hypothesize or theorize about, but know firsthand in your life living as the son or daughter of God you were born and created to be, even if you don't understand it, if you don't fully fathom it mentally or intellectually. Somebody once asked Thomas Edison, the great inventor, what is electricity? And Thomas Edison replied, listen to this, he replied, electricity is, use it. That was his answer to the question, what is electricity? Electricity is, he said, use it. No one on earth can possibly define fully the power of praise, the power of prayer, or the power of faith in human life. But you can learn to use it, to use these things, to experience these in your life, to use these powers of the spiritual life. Thank God for that. Thank God in reverence and worship and praise of your source, your creator, for you are kin to the creator. And the finding and knowing of God are the supreme delights of human life, seeking above all things to do the will of God. And the power of these spiritual realities can transform every aspect of your life. Historians have long remarked about how useful olive oil has been to the progress of civilization because of its versatility. Olive oil was not only used by the ancients as the fuel for their oil lamps, but also as a medicine, as a skin lotion, as a food and a lubricant for the wheels and gears of primitive machinery. Such also has been the historic value of spiritual faith in human life. It has inspired humankind, has civilized humankind, unified mankind, made peace between people, fostered art and music, and given life higher meaning and direction. And so it may be for your life as well. The great need of this troubled world is the dawning of a spiritual renaissance in the hearts and minds of humankind. But you can experience it in your heart and your mind if you will dare to have the faith to make it yours. According to your faith, said the Master, according to your faith, so shall it be unto you. And again he said these four powerful words, have faith in God. That will make all things new, and thank God for that. You may say, but you feel sinful, wrong, unhappy. You may feel guilty and feel an intense need for forgiveness. God, the living God, is a forgiving God. It isn't that you have to meet God halfway, and then God in turn will meet you halfway. No, God will meet you all the way. All you have to do is simply believe it in faith. And thank God for that, for it is so simple. Forgiveness is not earned. It is simply received. It isn't merited. It is given. You are a son or daughter of God. Dare to believe that. God loves you, and because God understands you totally, God can forgive you totally. If in faith, this moment, you will accept it. And you can do it right here, right now, listening to this broadcast. Thank God for that, that it is so elementary, so uncomplicated. The ability to simplify some complicated subject down to its basic essentials is incalculably important. Back in the 1920s, a professor at Cambridge University in England, C.K. Ogden, did precisely that with the English language itself. He reduced it down to a list of the most important 850 words by learning only those fundamental 850 words the international traveler was able to get along satisfactorily in any English-speaking country, Sir Winston Churchill among others. Highly recommended this system, which was called Simplified Basic English. But this is precisely 
what 2,000 years ago this Jesus of Nazareth did in the field of spiritual teaching. He reduced religion to its most simple and most basic fundamental elements. The love of God and humanity is two great commandments. Where you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The kingdom of God within eternal life by faith in this living love of God. It is so wonderfully, so beautifully simple. Thank God for that. Because God really knows you and God really loves you. As the man said, you can fool some of the people all of the time, and you can fool all of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. But what people sometimes forget is that you can't fool God any of the time. God is omniscient. God is all-knowing, and his very spirit indwells your mind. Yet God loves you with a compassion so wondrous that it can transform your life. Again, thank God for that. You may have no power, wealth, or fame, but yet you're a son or daughter of the living God. Cling to that truth. You may be penniless, but you are priceless, for you are infinitely loved by the infinite God. Thank God for that right now, this very moment. And all things, all things will become as new for you. For free literature on the spiritual life, material which I have written on these very topics, if you feel that divine discontent, that inward spiritual restlessness, yearning for a finding and knowing of God, write to us at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, Box 3080, Oakhurst, California, 93644, United States of America. I've written some free literature on finding God, getting to know God, growing spiritually, seven principles of prayer, the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, the spiritual truth which rings down through the corridors of human history that this entire world was intended and created to live as one family of love, the family of God, the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. And you are an infinitely valuable son or daughter of this living God in this great far-flung universal family of God. If you're intrigued by this truth, if that rings some sort of celestial bell inside your soul when I speak it into this radio microphone, write to us at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, Box 3080, Oakhurst, California, 93644, United States of America. This is a non-sectarian, non-profit program proclaiming the dawning spiritual renaissance, the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, the worldwide family of God. And so for now, this is Vern Benham Grimsley saying, may God's will be done by you. Good day.